Welcome inside a brand new stunning 2023 fully updated 40 CCK in Forest Rivers Cedar Creek series. This is the Cottage series, uh, not one of their fifth wheels. Uh, for us in our part of the world and certainly at our dealership, the Cedar Creek is a brand that's uh, well known to our clients and they absolutely love it. Certainly those that have seen them, but also those who, uh, who own them uh, certainly find that uh, it's often the very last RV that they want to own. It's something that can be very comfortable for three seasons, extended season. Uh, we do bring this unit in now with dual pane windows. So something that does help to retain the uh, cool air from your AC at this time of year. Uh, but also as we get into the fall, uh, be able to comfortably be in the coach longer and uh, just running our furnace or perhaps using the two onboard electric heaters as well, which we'll point out through our walkthrough here. Just as we come through the uh, dual pane through therm window here, patio door, we have our little closet here very handy so again something we all need some place to put a coat when we first walk in if it's a cooler day or a raincoat and then we've got easy access to most of the switches we're going to want to use right away uh, something like our slide outs if it's more springtime uh, we can check on our uh, battery level uh, black tank gray tank so how full our tanks are our water pump should we be in a situation where we don't have uh, water on site and then we have our primary lights, which are often the first ones we're looking for, uh, and then things like your ceiling fan. So everything nicely tucked away here uh, behind uh, very well done cabinetry. You're gonna notice hinges here that are more reminiscent of uh, what you have in your home. So they're adjustable hinges. So not typically what you find in uh, a lot of RVs nowadays. So uh, very heavy duty hinges. Just next to that, as we come in on a hot day, we may quickly wanna turn on our AC. Uh, we are um, equipped here with two AC units. So we may be choosing to put on both of them if we're lucky enough to have 50 amp service. Or a lot of our clients find, again, we in our part of the world, we really don't need more than one in many occasions. So the primary one in the main area here is probably the one we're going to run. If it's a day with a nice cool breeze, we maybe choose to open up all the windows. And then we do have two onboard fans here uh, that we can open that are three-speed fans and then reversible. Uh, they will also have a rain sensor as well. Uh, so should there be some moisture in the air, it's going to detect that and it will automatically close that for you. So very handy features to have. And again, additional light switch here as well. Just below that, we've got some safety features in terms of our onboard built-in carbon monoxide detectors. So keeping us safe. We also have onboard fire detectors. So again, all the sta standard safety features we'd have in our home are already equipped here from the factory. As we enter into our kitchen, I just love the way it's set up. So just a ton of storage here. You've got cabinets going up to the ceiling. And then in this section, I, it's one of my favorites. You just got a very well uh, laid out coach. So you've got Again, place to put recycling, little place to hide away your garbage bags. So all those things that you're gonna naturally have in the coach, but it has its own home. This is a great little spot here, perhaps to set up a, a little bar for entertaining, uh, just a place maybe to have some snacks that you keep, some candy for grandkids or visitors that come in, or just a wonderful little coffee bar, which is what a lot of our customers end up setting it up as. And we've got built-in um, Wi-Fi wi connectivity. So if your park already has, uh, perhaps Wi-Fi throughout it, uh, you're going to be able to grab onto that as well. Uh, there are some plans as well, especially if you're uh, closer to the U.S. border um, or in the US, United States. Something you can um, connect with the carriers here that uh, I believe it's AT&T that they're working with. So again, but there are other providers you can work with as well. Uh, so as we enter into the main portion of the kitchen, we've got our double door fridge here. Beautiful stainless steel fridge. Again, much more reminiscent of what is happening in our home. So they've kind of taken that right through the kitchen. We've got our pull-up freezer with... Uh, Ice maker below as well. Just wonderful slow close drawers here. Solid surface countertops throughout. Wonderful backsplash here. Again, lots of outlets. We've got outlets throughout our island here as well. Huge range, stainless steel range. You something you can cook a large turkey, chicken, so something you could do Thanksgiving uh, with the family, invite it, friends and family in. Huge microwave here as well. Again, more outlets on the other side and more counter space. And then we've had a little redesign here on an island. So still all the amenities, uh, the backside, you will have a built-in vacuum cleaner. You've got beautiful stainless steel sink here, some drying racks as well, beautiful high-rise faucets so you can quickly fill those large pots. Great storage underneath that sink. And then as we come around, you're gonna have the outlets there. But you now also have the flip-up extension here. So it can be an extension here uh, that you can put up for extra seating, perhaps uh, an area where kids can sleep, can sit and eat. Uh, can be a place to, again, lay out some food and snacks. But it's also a wonderful little spot if you want to set up a little desk if you're doing some work uh, or perhaps have the ability to work remotely. It could be a little desk here as well if you didn't want to use the table here for any reason. Uh, the table will come with an extension as well, so uh, it's a wonderful area to be able to enjoy something that could end up on a th screened in room should you, again, build a deck in the future. Uh, so a couple screws will remove that and give you the ability to move that around. 
I'm going to highlight here that something that extends from the kitchen into the living area. So this is a big redesign here into our uh, pantry slash entertainment area. So amazing storage here. It's on a bit of a piston, so it doesn't take much to open it here. So it uh, has plugins back here, so it can be a great area to hide devices at night, uh, perhaps a computer, charge those devices at night. Great spot here that could be your very large uh, spice rack, you name it, tuck away some candy again for the grandkids when they're around or kids or friends. Uh, keep the chips, all that good stuff. So you've got just a ton of room here to be able to load up in the springtime and then have lots of food available. And again, lots of outlets as well if you want to use this as a bit of a charging area. If you are someone that can work remotely, it could be an area again where you store the office supplies, things like that too. You just don't want everybody to see. So our TV will swivel as well uh, towards the couch. Obviously we've got our chairs directly across here from entertainment, but uh, should you want to swivel towards the kitchen area as well, you certainly can. We do have a wonderful electric space heater built in, but a 1500 watt space heater so that uh, you can keep, you know, kind of nice and warm in this area without the sound necessarily of running a furnace. So if you want to watch a movie and you want it a bit quieter, but you want some heat, that's the way to do it. You've got a USB plug in here just at the end as well. And that is as mentioned at the other end. That is our vacuum location in terms of where the actual unit is for changing the bag, plugging in the hose. We do have wonderful powered theater seats. So these are 120 volt powered theater seats. So we're plugged in now. If we push the little silver button there, we can fully extend out, be very, very comfortable. Certainly a great spot to uh, catch a cat nap as well. You've got storage built in as well for uh, remotes here in the center console. And you've got a couple spots there for your morning coffee. If you want to just sit, relax, catch the news, um, read the paper, those sorts of things. Should you have guests, the idea here is that you can pull out the full queen size hide a bed. So it is not a small bed by any means. It is a full queen size mattress in there, hidden away. And then you've got wonderful views and uh, ability to again to open up the bottom of those windows so you can have that fresh air coming in. And then couple that with the ceiling fans. And then if it gets really hot, you do have that AC, which is all ducted throughout the coach. So you've got one unit here at the very front and one in the back in the bedroom as well. So you can alternate between those. Uh, depending on where you are. You've got great accent lighting here as well. So running the, the length of the coach, if you want to leave some of that on for your guests, just to, again, help them see what they're doing at nighttime. Uh, but you're going to have lots of light here, but the ability when you don't want light in certain areas, you've got a daytime shade. Uh, they are high-end roller shade coming from a lot of the motorhomes, high-end diesel pushers. You've got, again, the blackout shades here. So especially if you had a guest for a night, uh, or if you've got a close neighbor, certain times of the day, you may want to close them. You've got the ability to create uh, complete privacy. And you can imagine if you've got a bit of a view here, you've got wonderful views at the front, but then they really wrap the whole side of the coach going right back to your patio door. So as we head back to the middle here, the divide is sort of the bathroom for you. Stunning bathroom here. Again, something meant to be very comfortable uh, for three to four seasons, depending on where you are. You've got a massive shower stall here. Very comfortable seat, should you need it. A highly adjustable shower head in there, so multiple jets there can be hitting you at any point. Great little sink with storage, with some great accent lighting, again for nighttime, very handy. Great medicine cabinet, and then we've got lots of storage for towels and linens and everything else in here as well. And you've got lots and lots of height here. That's the beautiful thing, is you're as high as any traditional fifth wheel, but it's from one end to the other without the stairs. So for a lot of our clients, as we all age, certainly convenient that way. So great skylight with lots of light. Porcelain toilet here as well, little pocket door and plenty of floor space. But yeah, just a wonderful shower stall. Just again, feeling more like home. As we come back into our main bedroom here, we are well set up here with a full queen size bed, or king size bed, sorry. We've got great storage for boots and shoes. Uh, the whole bed is on a platform with an assist, so it will lift up once you get it started. And then you've got a lot of storage there as well. I mentioned an electric heater front and back. So we do have a little cadet electric heater built into the wall here. So for most of our customers, that could keep this room quite warm without having to run the furnace all the time. Um, so that may work well for you without having to run, again, that propane furnace at night when it's cooler. You do have a ceiling fan in here, so you may not have to use AC all the time, if that's your preference. Uh, a little spot here where you could tuck away a computer or an iPad or things like that at night and phone and um, if you just wanted them away from you and but still keep them charging. And then you've got great his and her storage there. You've got USB as well as 120 volt power on both sides of the bed. As I mentioned from the outside, you've got those individual little pocket windows there, which are wonderful that you can actually open up and have screens. We are well set up for entertainment here as well. So we do have your own TV in the bedroom as well. Keep everybody happy. 
We've got some great accent lighting underneath here. Again, at nighttime, could be a bit of a night light. We've got lots of storage here. Increased storage underneath as well. And then the back wall is really all storage with the caveat that some of it uh, could be a spot where you do have a washer and dryer. So again, you are well set up back here so we can aid you with that if it's something that you do need. But look, great little shoe storage in here or anything else you wish to use it for. And again, you've got no lack of storage all the way across the top here. So anywhere they can, they've added storage for you, including again, under the bed. So you, you have a ton of storage here to be able to be up here, and have the ability to store the things you need to, uh, to be living here for three to four seasons, depending on your climate. So in our climate, it would be a three season unit for sure. If you're in a warmer environment, especially in the United States, you're gonna find that it's something you could be comfortably in for four seasons, certainly. We'd invite you down to Primo RV Center to come have a close look at this brand new updated 2023 40 CCK Cedar Creek.